Articles 8 raises alarm over Sinema's government alleged plot to arrest and detain him. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Daniel Bala, a legal practitioner and aide to former Vargas President Atiku Abubakar, has revealed a plot by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government to arrest and detain him. The People's Democratic Party (PDP) chief Tain made this known via social media post on Monday, September 18th. Bala claimed that he had gotten reliable intel from some persons at the presidential villa of a plot to use security agencies to arrest and bring him into custody. He wrote, and I quote, Last night I got a credible intelligence that some key people around the seat of power, presidential as a villa of this government, are planning to use security agencies to arrest me and take me into custody on trumped up allegation in order to rubbish me and silence me that I'm making them and the government uncomfortable. Let it world know today that I have always known that from my stand on the same fake ticket, which led to my leaving the all progressive Congress and consequent posture as a political opposition. It might irk the deep state and come with prosecution for what I believe in and stand for. If anything happens to me, let the world know today of their evil plans. In the build-up to the 2023 general elections, Bella was in the camp of the All Progressive Congress before switching allegiance to the People's Democratic Party, following President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's decision to go for a same fake ticket. Bola was one of the strong voices in the party who kicked against the move, arguing that the elections, arguing that the action of Tinubu did not portray equity, justice, fairness, and inclusion. Huh. Well, yeah. Who, first of all, who give him the so-called info? You understand? Who give him this info mate now when you come outside they talk? First of all, who, who lets him know? Huh? Ah. And the thing is, I don't think this is actually, believe you me, I'm not going to say it is not true because in this our, in this part of the world, believe you me, when I say politics of bitterness exists many waiting meaning me and you even if we did for the same party and i get opposing views as you you understand like let's say this exactly this boil uh, bala uh, what's it called this situation when they i feel use the seats why it gets eh? i feel use them um, they taunt you that is how Low, our politicians can go. Me and you will not get beef, but only say maybe your view and my view did different, and maybe I can't leave the party because of my view. You understand? I want to really stand by my views. I left the party. You see members of a party who I don't know, who should I say are intoxicated by power, they would. They would use that, their position to start taunting that person and, you know, that particular thing. So that's what I'm saying. That I can't really come and say it's not true or it is true. You are simply being chased by your past wrong days because the righteous has both as life. Well, this is another angle to it. And this is why I will always say, if you know, say they hold any political public office, political or not, even if it is your village or community whatever office please work with integrity work effectively and efficiently make sure that you are doing your job the way it is supposed to do because you see that thing that they say a good name is better than riches <laughs> uh, now when you dare for position will be say your money no go fit save you the last time you go understand yes you understand? That is exactly. Now that time you go come no say her good name is is very okay. Okay, look at there's an issue now on ground that the former is him is is he the former minister of power or somebody that work in that ministry? I can't really pinpoint. You know the, the article I read. Mm, they are calling on him now to come and say something, and 
And I'm asking myself, if this man be say he walk without integrity, he did his work, nyama nyama, you know, he just swam anyhow, or he did all things, they do anyhow. You know, no matter how long it don't take. This thing I'm telling you, go way back to 2007. If they trace it that, oh, this man, he handled it pure. He was in office and he was not doing the right thing. Imagine years of, if it's somebody who is in business, if it's somebody who is in, you know, do you know the kind of damage that is going to be done to that person just by waiting into coming out in the, in the public as in now, after how many years? <laughs> All right. Hello, Barrister Bala. If it is true that there is a plan to arrest you and you have an evidence to prove this allegation, all you need to do is to surrender yourself to the DSS and you should go there with a lawyer and with your evidence to prove these allegations. Sir, so, if you cannot take these steps the right way, no one will believe you. Like, I'm really, I'm really saying, hmm, if it is really, really true, then if Bala was holding any police, I mean, public um, office post before he left the APC, then to me, huh, and then they come outside, they really talk. You know, he's really talking on the side of PDP this period. They might just say, let us quiet him down. And of course, the best, the only way they can quiet you is if they can find something against you. But if not, uh-uh, they feel try, but they're not going to feel stop you. All right. Even what goes around comes around. For in our mind now, all those on a, Okay, what goes around comes around. For in our mind now, all this no consign on a, as I told you that subsidy is targeted on big men, when I carry now Momo and tribal dirty them and believe them, now when I no fit drive on our cars, <laughs> even Nigerian people hoping to read for where on no song. All right, evil politicians all the way, God will certainly punish supporters of equal parties, uh -uh. especially the common men and women that are still suffering. Anyone, everyone has a right to choose between good or bad. The supporters of evil party are the problem, so come on. We're over this now. The thing is, I just hope that um, Nigerians have learned a lesson. Sincerely. Because this election, this last election, what it, what it taught me is that Nigerians have not learned a lesson. No, 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 no. You feel that they don't learn the lesson, but no, they never learned a lesson. You understand? That is why um, some people can come outside and say, eh, uh, they are doing this one. It is uh, my own, my, this is uh, my brother. Uh, I'm going to support my brother. If not, we're not going to hear those kind of things. Nigerians will be all about supporting anybody who will be said and no say go make the country better. Whether the person fall from the sky, you whether the person are alien. I tell you, so far say the person is coming to do wrong, right wrongs. Ah, then go support them more. They don't go mind. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of your news. We say thank you for sending me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of